Hi guys, this is Catherine Boonshoten, the president and founder of Certum Solutions here in North Carolina. And there's a secret that you don't know about me. And you're gonna find something out today. I actually dress up as a unicorn and I'm totally kidding. Um, I actually work with more software than QuickBooks Online. I know it blows your mind because all my videos, they tend to be QuickBooks or a third party. And that's kind of because those are the questions I get a lot of the time that um, we have on our channel. That being said, we actually recently this year added several other accounting packages and naturally the analytical accountant that I am that is slightly goofy and does really like unicorns. I have been working on a comparison sheet so that our clients kind of know when a software is a good fit for them and what are those decision points, right? I've been doing this for 20 years. I can tell you right now that clients have a personality fit based on their business model, what they do, the modules they need, what industry they're in and more, that matches them typically closer to one accounting software than another. And so you're going to see a lot of comparisons for me over the coming weeks, going back and forth with different programs, just so you have options at your disposal. If you want to ask questions about this or you want QuickBooks content, the same thing we've always done goes. If you have QuickBooks questions, you let me know. However, if you have zero questions, Zoho questions, Odoo questions, let me know. I am here for you. I'm going to go through a little tip into my brain, a little hole into my brain, I'm gonna go through a couple of these things that I've put together in my spreadsheet. You're going to see videos based on this. However, if you want a copy of my actual spreadsheet that I am working on, this little Katie going down a rabbit hole comparison chart, that no one should spend so much time doing, but apparently I did, uh, leave me a comment or reach out to me and I will get you a copy of this, okay? But I wanna hear from you because I wanna know where my baby is going, okay? I'm not gonna share everything, but I'm gonna go through some of the important points and uh, I'm hoping this starts a conversation because QuickBooks, always near and dear to my heart, amazing software, okay? They just re released QuickBooks Center Online Enterprise that's amazing too. As someone who started out with QuickBooks Enterprise and to see the way it's transformed over the years, it's definitely exciting, sometimes nerve wracking, and sometimes what did they do with my button, okay? That being said, I don't want to ignore some of the other gems in the marketplace. We've got Zero, where I've got a client on them that absolutely loves it. Um, my personal favorite is that you can organize folders instead of just putting them in one library and trying to search. You've got a folder structure you can set up where you have like Zoho, where the UI to me is really smooth and I have several clients on them that absolutely love them. Odoo, if you are talking about an ERP and you're kind of in that space where you were with QuickBooks Enterprise, you know, where we kind of outgrown some things and we're looking at Enterprise and you're not interested in QuickBooks Online Enterprise, Odoo could also be an option. They have a self-hosted version that has um, a compelling cost to ownership. It's open source. So that means it's out there to be improved upon by the world, just like wordpress.com, wordpress.org. It's a very similar model. And um, I'm excited to show this to you. That being said, we're at three minutes and 40 seconds. I was trying to keep this under a five minute video. So we're gonna run through some things kind of quick, okay? QuickBooks Online, Zero, Zoho, and Odoo. They all are very different. Uh, packages and there's more out there. Okay. I just picked some of our more popular ones. Um, I have your average pricing per package. We've got your user count. Now this is a global count. And one of the things you're going to notice about software is that they are heavily influenced from where they're founded. Okay. Someone like QuickBooks was based and built in the USA. We have UK versions, we have Canadian versions, all those have been localized, but you're going to have some influence from where they originally came from. You've got Zero, who came from New Zealand. Some people say there's a little bit of an IFIRST thing, you know, I don't know if you're in accounting, but you've got GAP and IFIRST, they have that international influence and you can kind of tell is what I'm told. Um, and uh, I will say my personal experience has been, it's very heavily bank feed based, whereas like 
instead of a traditional dashboard, you've got like a bank feed dashboard, almost like you went into QuickBooks Online and went straight to the bank feeds, okay? Zoho, absolutely smooth interface. I love the dashboards and it has in-house apps. Like I personally have used their database before, the creator, love it. Used to use it for inventory before QuickBooks did a lot of inventory stuff. Then we have Odoo, which is kind of like Zoho, in which it also does this ERP feel. You can put these modules together and make an amazing setup for your company. Uh, you also have that option where you can say, I just want to buy the source code and pay that one-time cost and I'm going to handle the maintenance myself or you can host it on their host there's different ways of hosting it and you can pay them that SaaS fee for them to maintain everything but your opportunity to customize it with either a third-party developer or third-party apps can sometimes be limited but Odoo has so many apps I doubt most of us are going to notice that we can't connect to that within the SaaS offering. And likewise, if you want to do a little bit of maintenance or you want to contract that out to them, um, the self, the self-hosted version is also very compelling. Okay. Where are they based? We just talked about that. Where is their support and when can you find them? Can Certum escalate these tickets? So once where we have a pretty close relationship, being able to have a friend in the door, so to speak, that can escalate a case is really compelling. And Certum's always brought that to the table for QuickBooks. And we bring that to the table for a lot of our partners. Um, then I talk about some pros and cons around the appearance. We do have screenshots. I will, I will kick over there. One of the things that I noticed about Zoho, and this may just be in the books feature, uh, Odoo and Zoho to me are kind of in the same family in a Venn diagram kind of way. They both have a lot of in-house apps that all kind of plug together like a big puzzle. And you can create something very akin to like a full-on ERP, which I kind of see Odoo as a full-on ERP. Um, does it work on Mac? Because if you know me, you know that I work on Mac. I recently got a PC because I had to have it for some software I work with. However, I am a Mac girl. I love my Mac. When I'm at home, I'm on my Mac. Okay, so I like stuff that works on Mac. Can you integrate with third parties? Yes. As we mentioned with Odoo, there's a little bit of a caveat. If you're if you're hosting it on their platform, they lock that down. If you're hosting it within a self-hosted version, yes, you can do that. Okay. And we'll continue working on some of this. What kind of maintenance is involved? What kind of user counts can you get? Does that have a payroll module? Zero doesn't have an in-house payroll module, but has a very close integration with Gusto and as a Gusto accountant too. I love that program. It's got a couple things that QuickBooks doesn't have, like it has a cash advance feature. If you have clients that want to get their paycheck a little sooner, there's actually a part of uh, Zero or Augusto where they can do that. And not only that, you can make your compliance docs and things like that. And a lot of those you can put in QuickBooks Online too. But within Gusto, for me, the overwhelming feedback I used to get is that our employees just loved the interface and how friendly it was, okay? Um, does it have time tracking? Does it have reporting? And all these are very simple check boxes. What you'll notice is as we do our comparison videos, we're going to dive deep into the actual nuance of each one of these. But before I dive deep, I'm going to look deep myself because you, as you know me, I'm that person that tells you, yes, it's amazing, but here's that one little thing that an accountant's gonna wanna know or that a client's gonna wanna know that they might not have in a black and white way, okay? And that's what we do. Okay, so I will go through some of these layouts. We've got this dashboard. For QuickBooks, we're all very similar or familiar with, and you guys recognize it from our videos. We've got Zo or Zero, where I love this for you guys that love having that account watch list, having the checking account and the rest of that right there on your homepage. I love the simplicity of it. I love the way that this works. Also, like you do have project tracking and things like that, depending on what tier you have. Generally, it's a little bit cheaper than QuickBooks, but also there are some things that are a little pared back. So it depends on what you need. If you don't want all the bells and whistles and you've got like one to five employees and you kind of want something that's easy to use, 
let me know and we'll talk about zero. If you need something a little bit more robust, uh, we can talk about if zero is a good fit or something else is. Uh, also, I do love about zero. You can't see this, but you will. I think I mentioned it, but their filing system. So with QuickBooks Online and zero, you can attach things to the transaction. However, with QuickBooks Online, their library does not have folders. Zero's does. So I can make folders to my heart's content and file things very neatly and as a very neat slightly OCD accountant that appeals to me. Zoho Books, I've gotten lots of fantastic feedback. This is from, again, a, a quick little trial sandbox I set up. Um, it has a really nice UI and we've got a lot of fans. And then Odoo is the one that we are actually about to move to ourselves. Um, we're super excited. It, I love the way that you can go, these are the apps I need. This is how I want them to work together. And so far when we're trying to line them up next to the ones we currently use, because we're kind of busting at the seams ourselves, as a lot of our clients are going through, um, they act a lot like the apps we had already chosen ad hoc ourselves. So the, the, the feedback loop on the Odoo platform to me is amazing. The fact that they work within the parameters you want. So if you say, I want to pay once and I want that code, OK, you can do that. If you want to say, no, I want you to do my maintenance and everything for me and I want to have a SaaS version, you can do that, too. And um, depending on what company you go with, not everybody offers that. QuickBooks Online is coming out with QuickBooks Online Enterprise. As someone that started out with QuickBooks Enterprise Desktop, I'm super excited to see it. They're actually not letting us really see a whole lot of that yet. I'm guessing they're working out some bugs or something. But um, or, you know, just trying to get it through a pilot. I, I'm not sure, but that is public and I'm excited to see what some of the feedback is for that. But for those of us that have worked with different packages, sometimes we get in a little bit of a pigeonhole where we go. This is what the only one that works for me. But this stuff frustrates me. And I just want clients to know that part of what we bring at Certum is the fact that we work with you. This is your thing. This is your your decision and you need to have options and choices and that's what we're here for. If you want a copy of my spreadsheet and if you want updates as I work through this comparison for my clients, for my own in-house clients, please let me know and I will get you a copy of this. Just uh, make sure that you leave me a con comment. I can speak. I swear I say that every time. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor and like this video. I should have said it in the beginning and I forgot. If you like the content we have on our channel overall, like the channel. And um, if you're mad at me that I'm not talking about QuickBooks today, I'm really, 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 really sorry. All I can say is it's almost Christmas. Let's all be in the Christmas season and the season and, and, and the holiday season and forgive me. But um, I've been getting a lot of questions about this and I just thought, you know what, it's time to kind of approach the subject and talk it over. And you've gotten a little bit of a look behind the curtain as to who Certum is, what I do for a living, and how I work with my clients. I look forward to your questions. If you have questions on Xero, Zoho, Odoo, or any other accounting software, and you just want my take on it, leave me a comment because this is my jam. I live for software. I live for accounting. I know I'm probably the most crazy person on, on the planet, but this stuff really makes my brain tick. So if I can help you, I'm here for you. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a great holiday.